Algebra uses letters called variables to represent numbers that correspond to specific values. Usually, if you see letters toward the beginning of the alphabet in a problem, like A, B, or C, they represent known or set values. And the letters toward the end, like X, Y, or Z, represent the unknowns, things that can change or what you're solving for. Letters that represent variables and numbers are usually lowercase, while capitalized letters are used most commonly to represent the answer in a formula, like the capital A for area of a circle equals pi times the radius squared, or A equals pi r squared. Here's a list of some of the more commonly used variables in algebra. An n doesn't really fall at the beginning or end of the alphabet, but it's frequently used to represent some unknown quantity or number probably because n is the first letter in number. The letter x is often the variable you solve for, maybe because it's a letter of mystery. x marks the spot, the x factor, the x files. Whatever the reason, x is so popular as a variable that the letter is also used to indicate multiplication. Just remember, you have to be clear when you use an x that it isn't taken to mean multiply. C and K are two of the more popular letters used for representing known amounts or constants. C is also used frequently in calculus and physics. It's capitalized more for tradition than for any good reason. So when it comes to understanding variables, it's good to know your ABCs. And a few more letters.